Hey, it's Bill Gross, the official podcaster for the LA Association, uh, Real Estate Investor Association. Really excited to have this coming week. Steve Matley's going to be a special guest at the Real Estate Expo. Say hi, Steve. How are you doing, Bill? Thank you Fantastic. for having me on. I appreciate the opportunity. Well, it, it's great. I know we're going to see you on Thursday, November 10th in Los Angeles, 5.30 uh, is when the uh, rooms doors open, 6.30 is where the expo opens. And the night before that, Wednesday night, the night, there'll be in Ventura. And your topic is about how to acquire and develop raw land. So is that, is that your exclusive specialty? Is that something you've worked on for a while? Or is that new for you? Or tell me about you and land. Well, that's uh, the bread and butter of what my company does. So our company, Coast to Coast Equities, Inc., we're a Florida C corporation. I've got a partner. Another, I live in California. I have another partner in California. My, my vice president lives in Ocala, Florida. We acquire and do uh, entitlement and development work in Florida, Texas, Arizona, and California so far. Uh, we've looked in other states as well. And I have done ground ups, I've done industrial construction, I've done track homes, but most of what we do is acquiring the land, getting the approvals, and sell it to other people to do the construction. So you get it ready for other people to do the improvements? Or That's right. right. Yeah, we don't actually touch the land in, in most cases. So when you speak on Thursday uh, the 10th and then Wednesday in Ventura the 9th, you'll be talking this, in some cases, there'll be very experienced investors, there'll be some that are some experienced and some that are brand new. So let's talk for a second to the brand new investor or, or somebody who's looking to, to change careers and get into real estate. What's the opportunity for somebody starting out? It sounds complicated. How can they get started in this and, and develop a business? Well, and that's the, the way we structure our deals is for exactly that. I came, I started in real estate with zero i uh, went into construction and kind of learned it the hard way my partners have been doing land for a long time and one thing we talked about was this is a domain of usually very uh, large companies REITs, right. uh, irvine company and those kind right. of people right big right, companies, right? and uh we wanted to make it accessible to just regular investors I, I hung out with real estate investor crowds i did my own fix and flips and those things and so we do the syndication model where um, for as little as $25,000 investment, you can join a group. And the great thing is for people that don't have tens of millions of dollars hanging around to go do big developments, if a lot of people with a little money get together, that creates enough money to do a larger project. Participate in this. So it's for somebody who has some money to get, to get started an investment. And then so they're a what, limited partner in, a, in a, a project that you work on? Yeah, each project is its own LLC and they become limited partners, members, uh, investor members of an LLC, uh, coast to coast, be the managing member and have the brunt of the liability. And what's a minimum investment for somebody who's starting out? So every project's unique and different, but most of our projects, uh, and we always try to have at least one or two that have a 25,000 minimum threshold. Oh. And that's that's accessible for most people. That's much less than most people would do getting into their own fix and flips and, you know, rentals and ADUs and those type of things out of pocket. Okay. So, and they don't have to do anything other than, you know, we'll manage it. Now, we'll obviously update them. They can ask us questions, but really it's um, as easy as write a check and then wait around and then get a check. So this sounds like it's an opportunity for somebody who's new who maybe has some money to invest, wants to get into real estate investing and can kind of learn by maybe drafting you. Let's talk about somebody who might be in the business already. Uh, what's the opportunity for them? What are they looking to do and how can you help uh, offer an opportunity for them? Well, one thing is, is most people don't, even in the real estate investor world, don't even understand this kind of project really exists. Um, right. it's, it's a little more advanced level. Or if they do know they exist, they figure there's something out of their reach. And so this gives an opportunity to get into some different projects other than the typical stuff of build an ADU, do a fix and flip, uh, get, get a duplex and rent it out sort of a thing. It's, it's a different animal. And they, they can see the other side of it. And one thing people learn is that on a small scale, they could actually do it themselves. They buy a piece of land, they get split into three pieces. That's just a miniature version of what we do. Got and, it. and they understand once, but it's best to um, work with someone first when you're not experienced with that. Because right. you know, as you know, in real estate, if you jump into a pool you're not familiar with, you can get eaten by the sharks pretty quick. But if you jump in with a guide and you've got the equipment, and you're trained, and you know where to go. Um, pretty soon you can do it on your own. And that, that it's a good first step for people to get into a different realm. Like you've been around a while and the, the biggest mistake brand new people make, I find is they focus on their commission split or their percentage. Uh, you know, when you go to college, when you get, go to trade school to pay uh, tuition, right. and sometimes you have to realize that some of the money you're not making is what you're getting paid in experience, knowledge, networking, uh, and learning. And so I think it's important for new people 
in the beginning to focus on what you're learning out of it and networking with people in the long run you can figure out how to do it on your own and, and make more money that way absolutely and then you mitigate that tuition by partnering with people who have already been there as a client right. as opposed to trying to do it yourself because there's a lot real estate investors tend to be very entrepreneurial and, and self-managing and that's right. great but that's also going to be a detriment because you also have to know when to call for help Right. Well, I would say to people, there, there's nothing you can't do on your own. You just can't do it on your own. And right. I think, you know, for the last year or two, anybody could have flipped a house. Anybody could sell a property. A monkey could sell a property. That's right. Now it's requ requiring some of the basic skills. And it's important that you work with uh, experts because the people who didn't really know what they're doing, uh, it, they, they got covered up for the mistakes for the last two years. Now they're being exposed. So, well, great. Yeah. So you're going to speak on uh, Thursday, November 10th. I think you go on at, actually at 7, 6.30 as the expo starts. Doors open for vendors at 5.30. That's at the Iman Center in, uh, we say Culver City, technically it's Los Angeles, but Culver City area. And then the night before that, you're speaking in same organization, Ventura, Wednesday, November 9th, same time period. And for more information, go to lareic.com. If you're getting this uh, video, you probably have the email already from us. Uh, if I can help answer any questions, reach out to me. Steve, thank you so much for your time today. Look forward to seeing you on Thursday. Oh, thank you, Bill. I really appreciate being on your show. I appreciate your time. Thanks. And there we are.